Wouldn't it be great if there was a metric that told you exactly when to buy the dip? Well, guess what? I'll show you a secret strategy that shows you exactly that. What's up? My name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, I'll give you a little glimpse of what we're teaching in the DeFi Academy and that is how to time the market with the PL multiple. This is a market metric for estimating the selling pressure from miners and that can be very useful to find good entries and exits. Now, while this metric is great, this only shows you a fraction of good entries and exits. In order to understand market movements much better, we also share a bunch of other metrics, signals and alerts in the DeFi Academy. For one, you get weekly on-chain analysis reports that show you what the big fish are doing. Plus, we also share market alerts that show you when whales are planning to send prices lower. And we've actually shared a couple of alerts those, those past few weeks before the market corrected even more. So these are really helpful to understand where the market can move next. Now the Academy is currently closed for new members but you can get on the waiting list by applying to get in. To do this go down in the description and subscribe to my newsletter then you'll receive an email where you can apply to join the DeFi Academy. We'll, we'll be opening up pretty pretty soon again so definitely go down there subscribe to my newsletter and apply so you can get on the waiting list. Only people who have applied and have been accepted by us will get a guaranteed spot. So do that now if you're interested. All right, let's dive in. So I'm now on, on Look Into Bitcoin. I'll leave that link in the description down below. And this is actually a really great source that allows you to take a look at that metric for yourself at all times. So we quickly read through the explanation here so that you understand what's going on. And then I'll tell you how you can use that for yourself. So indicator overview. So it says here, this metric looks at the supply side of Bitcoin's economy, Bitcoin miners and their revenue. It explores market cycles from a mining revenue perspective. Bitcoin miners are sometimes referred to as compulsory sellers due to their need to cover fixed costs of mining hardware in a market where in a market where price is extremely volatile. The revenue they generate can therefore influence price over time. The PL multiple is calculated by dividing the daily issuance value of BTC in USD by the 365 day moving average of daily issuance value. So this is what you can see up here. So you can see it says daily coin issuance. So how much is paid out to the miners in USD, calculated in USD. And that's divided by how much is calculated uh, on a daily, like throughout the year divided by 365 to see the daily average. So if we go down into that chart, you'll see that this is actually the price. So we're currently up here at about 46,000 for one BTC. And down here, this is the metric. So this is uh, the daily coin issuance divided by that MA365. So that gets you that number. So what this basically means in very simple terms is if this is high, then a lot of BTC are issued on a daily basis. And that usually means a lot of BTC are also sold. And if it goes down here, then that means a very little BTC are issued, usually because there's not so much demand, there are not so many transactions that need to be mined into blocks and therefore there's not so much BTC reward that is paid out to the miners. So let's quickly read the second part that titles how it can be used. There are periods of time where the value of Bitcoins being mined and entering the ecosystem is too great or too little relative to historic norms. Understanding these periods of time can be beneficial to the to the strategic Bitcoin investor. The, above, the chart above highlights periods where the value of Bitcoins issued on a daily basis has historically been extremely low, PL multiple entering green box, which produced outsized returns for Bitcoin investors who bought Bitcoin here. It also shows periods where the daily issuance value was extremely high, pure multiple entering the red box, providing advantageous profit taking for Bitcoin investors who sold there. So this chart not only shows when a lot of BTC are issued to, to the miners, but also the value. So if the value is very high, but the miners tend to sell, that's more profitable for them. If it's very low, they don't tend to sell at all. So what is important here is you need to watch those two areas, the red area and the green area. And what does mean with it? And what it basically means is when this chart enters the green area, that's a good time to buy. Because that means that historically, the value of the daily BTC issues are extremely low. So lower than the average. And that means that it will usually spike up pretty soon again. On the other hand, if it enters this red area, that means that the daily issuance price is extremely high. So it's basically, so it's basically higher than the average historic data. So in order to find good entries for 
to buy the dip, you need to look at the green area. So whenever it enters the green area, that's a, a really good price to buy the dip. And we can quickly look at uh, historic data to see that this is actually true. So if we take a quick look here, the last time it entered the green area, that was on June 27th. We can actually just zoom in here. So you see that was a very quick dip, probably just a day. Yeah, that was just a day on June 27th. So let's take a look at TradingView to see where the price actually was at that point. All right, so now I'm on TradingView. And if we take a look here, June 27th, that was here. So you can see it's impossible to time the perfect bottom. That just doesn't happen that it's, it's just impossible to do that. But what you'll see is it has timed the area where it's very close to the absolute bottom very, very closely. So if we zoom out here, you'll see. So it was um, here and then it dipped a bit lower. That was about a month later. But after that, it rallied up again. So what this indicator or this metric is really good for is to find a starting point from which you can DCA in. So what that basically means is once, once this goes down there, so once this dips, June 27th, you can start dollar cost averaging in. So you can start dollar cost averaging in. So you can determine either to go once per day, once every couple of days, once per week, whatever you prefer. But what it basically shows here is that it basically took about a month to find the absolute low. So if you had dollar cost averaged in here over 30 days, that would be from June 27 to July 27, that would be about here. You would have had a really, really good dip opportunity and you would have had probably the best buying price over this whole period. So that was the last time this entered the green area. Now, if you go a bit further back and look at this area here where it dipped into the green a couple of times. So the first time that was here, that was Mm, the Mar that was March 15th, 2020. And then it was down there for about five days. And the second time was in May, 2020. That was a bit longer. So that was for almost, that was for about two weeks. And then it dipped again very quickly on June 19th. July. Yeah, that was about it. So throughout 2020, it dipped a couple of times. So let's quickly go back to trading view and take a look at where the prices were. So first time was March, 2020. Okay. So I'm in trading view for March, 2020. And as you can see, it was on uh, the 14th of March and that was nicely off this dip. And I think it was even, it was the lowest point for a very long time. So that was March. As you can see, if you bought back in here, you would have had a really nice rally up here. And then the next time it dipped was in May, 2020. So you can see there's not really a dip here, but it's a very, it's a prolonged area of bear market where you could have had really good entry. So that would have been below 10,000. In March, it would have even been, I think the lowest was almost at three, yeah, 4K. And then you could have DCA'd over this whole area. So that was May, all throughout May. So that was this area. And then the next time was um, once in June and once in July. So then there was once again around here and then once again around about here. And as you can see, if we zoom out, that would have been some really good entries because after that the rally began. So this is really a great multiple, uh, this is really a great metric or indicator to find long-term dips. So to find areas that are close to the bottom, remember it's impossible to time the bottom exactly, but what you can do is once this pure multiple goes down in the green area, you can start dollar cost averaging in. So you can start putting in small amounts of money distributing it every day, every other day, whatever you like, but start accumulating at those points and you'll have one of the, probably the best prices you can get. So if we look before that, we're not going to do that now, but that was in 2018. Again, you can do that for yourself, but you'll see that again, those will, would be, would have been very good by the dip options. Now, if we take a quick look at the red areas, you'll see that this is a great way to start dollar cost averaging out of the market. So to start selling and to start taking profit. As you'll see, we haven't entered that area yet. And that's a good indicator that the bull run is not over and that we're probably having, experiencing more of a super cycle that takes much longer than what we've experienced so far. So if we just take a very quick look at that, you'll see that has started on uh, at the end of November, 2017, and it went on until uh, 24th of December, 2017. And as you'll probably know, that was very close to the top. 
So if we just go back here. So end of November was here. Now you'll see it's not the best for taking profit. It's definitely much better to, to buy the dip, but you can still use it to take profit. So if you had started to take profit here up until here, yeah, so if you DCA it out, you would have had the whole rally. So you would have had the best prices to take out profit. But remember, it's always DCA. So once it goes in that area, you start taking profit, but not all at once. So you start taking profit every day, every day, every day. And that almost guarantees that you get the best prices to take out. But it's even better to buy the dip. Now, even though this was the last time it went into the red area, that doesn't mean it's the only time when you should take profit. So actually, if we go back to the current market situation, you'll see that it would have been very good to take profit along the way. So we've had a couple of tops here and it would have been great to take profit here and here. And that's what the other indicators that we share in the DeFi Academy are very useful for. The whale well alerts when, and they usually get flashed right before a, a downwards movement is coming. And then also throughout before it, uh, a close, before a sharper dip comes again. So that's what this is very useful for. And also technical and on-chain analysis reports that we share each week, where you basically see what smart money is doing, what the ways are doing and what the market could move next to. We also provide an exit strategy, our exact exit points for different coins so you can use that again for yourself and this is really crucial Profit taking is crucial because otherwise it's it's great to have to have coins for years on end, but then if you have to live through a multi-year bear market with coins that lose value up to 90%, that doesn't really help you. So taking profit is key if you want to make passive income and if you want to build up wealth that in the end works for you. So don't forget to go down in the description, subscribe to the newsletter and apply for the academy so you can get on the waiting list. All right, so that's it for this video. That's how you can buy the dip with the peel multiple. I think this is a really cool metric. It's very, very simple and it gets you really good entry points unfortunately only very few entry points but if you catch those these will be the best prices you'll get for sure if you like this video hit the like button down below and share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye